concern right now is touchdown. Forget about first down. Well, how is this one going to end? Montana lines up at the five. And on third down and three, he rolls right looking to throw. Looking to throw, and he throws into the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown! Touchdown, San Francisco by Dwight Clark. He went way high in the air, and with 51 seconds remaining, he may have taken the 49ers. For you youngsters out there like you that don't know, 81 was the 49ers' first Super Bowl championship season. Tim Harrison, who owns the place, the Canyon Inn in Redwood City, 49ers used to train in Redwood City. We trained right down the road at 7-Eleven Nevada Street. Tim approached the team about, I want to get some players to my restaurant. And Marcy Owens told him, everybody wants 49ers at the restaurant. So he had to maybe like sweeten the pie, what do you can offer them? So Tim came up with a little uh, ID card identifying every 49er. We all had our own number, like, uh, you know, number 16 was Joe Montana's ID card. So we all had our own numbers, had our own ID cards. Every time the 49ers won a game, we'll go too long. Every time the 49ers won a game. No, no, you're doing fine. Go they, ahead. They could, uh, every time the 49ers won a game, they could uh, come here and get a free lunch. Some of the offensive linemen gained some weight that season because they came here like every day of the week following the win. We won 16 games, and uh, and uh, I'm not sure how Tim didn't go broke, but the Canyon Inn's been uh, near and dear to all of old 49ers' hearts ever since then. And you are? I've, I've gained a few pounds here at the Canyon Inn too. I'm Jerry Walker, and I was with that 1981 team as a PR director. From 1981 to... One till 93. I left a year before the fifth Super Bowl. Oh yeah, a little closer. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Hi, uh, my name is Tim Harrison. I'm the owner of the Canyon Inn in Redwood City. We're located uh, very close to where the uh, Niners used to practice, down on 7-Eleven uh, Nevada Street. And back in 1981, the season of the first Super Bowl, uh, we became connected with the 49ers. We came there hang out, and uh, a lot of rich tradition of the 49ers and the Canyon Inn started there. And through the years, uh, Players have come to think of this as their, their hangout. In fact, tonight we had the uh, Hooked on Niners, and we had some of the old players come in and say hi. Uh, we're located at uh, 587 Canyon Road. We actually have a hamburger game now. Jack Hacksaw Road, it's called the Hacksaw Burger. And uh, a lot of memorabilia. A lot of people that taken in here up the Niners. Is there a special piece in here? One of your special pieces? I think, I think one special piece is how we actually started uh, in Redwood City is I wanted to have a rally for the football players. And I met with R.C. Owens back in the spring of 80. And he said the only way you get these players in here would be to give them food. And I thought, geez, I thought that I was doing them a favor because they weren't doing all that well. So I wrote him a letter and I said, well, this is what we'll do. On the, uh, on the Sundays that uh, you guys win, everybody, including the staff, can come in and eat for free. Well, that became the start of a very good relationship. They went 13 and 3, actually 16 and 3, and I gave away a lot of food. But up here on the, uh, on the they also used to come in every every Canyon Inn uh, anniversary on June 1st, and usually coincided with their training camp after uh, after the draft in late May, early June. And they presented this poster to me. Down below it says Canyon Inn of 49ers, a great championship team. And that's a replica of the card that used to keep in their wallet. All they had to do was show that card and they could eat for free. And that, that's very special. That's signed by all of the players of the 85 Super Bowl. Um, there's just a lot of a lot of pictures in here. Every picture has a story. But uh, that's one of the more special ones. Okay, what do you have to offer for food? We have hamburgers. Sandwiches, pizza, we do Mexican food, we make our own pizza dough, and our, we're known for our hamburgers. 
we grind our own meat every day, and it's fresh, and I try to have all the best quality ingredients that I can. And this June 1st will be our 37th year. So we're still here, and uh, a great place for the kids to come. We have games. TVs? How many TVs do we have in here? TVs. Six TVs. And, uh, we usually have uh, something going on every night. Thanks, Kim. Thank you, Frank. Matt Bayoko, who knows everything there is to know about tonight. We'll have all that and not a damn thing more right here on Hooked on Tonight. It's good to be back. You know, the first seven minutes of the game were like a colonoscopy gone bad. And then, you know, the last 12 seconds was like being hit by a two by four. But in between, I think we learned something about this team. As opposed to, to uh, you know, just satellite, it's, on, it's just there, it's just fed. It's on the feet. So like when I go home, I would be real You know, I can sit here looking at all these photos. I was just looking at these photos. Yeah, I know. Oh my God, look at Joe and Jackson, man. This whole place. Day right there. Day, man. Go ahead. Uh,